I expect my face to be like that. <laughs> but, um, hello everyone. If you were here, uh, when we reconnected, please, uh, refresh your browser, because you're probably on a really long delay right now. Because <laughs> that happens, uh, when, when stream reconnects. Um, it tends to give people long delays if they're there while we're reconnected, re reconnecting. Also, hey Opalite, hey Bebop, hey Cries, and hey Cabal. Dio Blanket Franz, yes, I'm in a blanket because I've been tired all day. Well, actually, that's, that's like my default state of being. So, I guess I could say I'm tired all day every day, but this is actually the best I've been all day. Hello, I am the Doodell. <laughs> Doodell is here. But, uh, hello? <laughs> I was just eating some ramen. It's like this, like, Korean ramen that's, like, the really spicy kind. I don't know if you guys know it. It has the chicken on the wrapping, on the, on the container. Um, but it's actually the less spicy version. But still super spicy. I could only have two bites, and I'm like, I can't eat this before stream. I'm gonna be, like, it's gonna be painful to talk. So it's just sitting there in my room, stinking up the room. You know how, how that, um, you know, like when you make ramen and it makes everything smell like, like it makes the whole room smell like ramen. You know that feeling? That's what it's doing right now. Also, I need to blow my nose. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, boing, boing, boing. I just ate four pieces of crab sushi. Diz brought home for work. Ooh, I love crab so much. I hope it was good. Think about the world ending shit that could be had with that ramen. The world ending. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the shit that I have after I eat the ramen. Yes, it will burn my asshole. I already had like a poop earlier today that ripped my asshole <laughs> open. Um, because it was really hard. It was super tasty. Even had some wasabi on it. Oh, I'm, I'm not like the type of person to have wasabi, but you know, it's been a while since I've tried. Maybe I would actually like wasabi now that I'm like older. Franj looking cum? I am very cum. But one second, I, I need to, uh, <laughs> I need to get a tissue. I need to take some more Benadryl. One second. Fighting for your life in the bathroom? That's me, honestly. That was me... That's me, like, after a night of drinking. Uh, cause drinking just makes your poops the next day really bad. I'm on. Kill the pollen? Pollen no, won't know what fucking hit it? Yes, please. Please kill all the pollen in my area. You acclimated it. You acclimated to it when it's with sushi. I mean, isn't wasabi just supposed to be eaten with another thing? It's not supposed to be eaten alone. The people who eat just wasabi on its own, weird. Those people, well, actually, they're still valid. They're still valid. You can enjoy whatever you like to eat. I just can't do it myself. <laughs> but it is generally supposed to go with with stuff. You're gonna kill the pollen? Oh shit, the whole Frange army is gonna go after the pollen? I feel so blessed. Also, one second, I forgot to open something. I need to open up my stream labels, because if you, if you guys remember during my one stream where I was like, oh, my, like, my follower and subscriber, um, things on the side over here, over here, they aren't updating? That was because I have to have a program open to update it. It's so inconvenient. So I have to open it up now. Okay, it doesn't look like it updated ever since uh, Saturday. Eating wasabi by the spoonful? Are you okay? Are you okay, Bebop? You need to eat something with more, with more nutritional value than wasabi. Is that like your whole your whole diet? Hey, Castan! Welcome back! How are you doing? Hello, gay. I'm Kastan. <laughs> I didn't know I was waiting for someone to do that, but now I'm happy that someone did. <laughs> Hello, Kastan. I'm gay. Eating a carton of wasabi like a gallon of ice cream. Whoa. 
imagine uh, mistaking wasabi for mint ice cream. Are they even the same color? Hemwo. But yeah, um, okay, so I'm looking at my dropped frames. It's still dropping, but at like half the rate it was dropping earlier. It was dropping like about 50% of my frames um, when on my old Wi-Fi, so this is still better. It's not the best, but, you know, we're still watchable. <laughs> I wonder if there's a plugin that references a local HTTP file for updating stream label stuff? Yeah, I, I wonder. That would be much more convenient, because it seems like the stream labels thing is like it, it updates it in real time using the app, and I reference a local text file. It reads from that uh, in OBS. Dropped Frames, the podcast? <laughs> There's a podcast called Dropped Frames? I didn't know that. I mean, I'm just talking about the, the frames in my stream. It's kind of, it's looking kind of red and yellow right now, but... Resembles matcha ice cream. Oh my god. This is bringing back a memory. Do you know any of the ref references I write? No, I'm not cultured enough. <laughs> I'm only cultured in anime. But, uh, and, and some video games. But, okay, that brought back memories. I used to love matcha ice cream. When my mom used to own a restaurant, she had matcha ice cream uh, at the restaurant and I used to eat it a lot. But that was a long time ago. Like a decade, even a decade and a half ago. There's a plugin that works similarly to that for slideshows, but I suppose those files don't need editing, so I don't know how it would work. Yeah, yeah, because these have to be updated. I want to go. I want to go to Disney World just for Thunder Mountain. I think I've been on that ride. It's pretty good. Matcha ice cream is your favorite? My favorite. I'm not sure. I like ice cream with little bits in it. So like mint chocolate chip ice cream is good. And like peanut butter ice cream. <laughs> if you ain't referencing Tuki, Ava, or Piss, we don't get it here. Yeah. And maybe Fate, because I was into Fate. Like like really into Fate for a bit. If, especially if it's not sweet. So do you like pistachio ice cream? Too bad you're poor. Wouldn't you need a... Okay, so I... You're in Europe, right? Is there a Disneyland? A Disney World in Europe? I know there's one in Japan, but... Um, yeah, if you need to go to the US or, or something, that would be a lot of money. That would be a lot of ice, uh, money. You like pistachio ice cream? Yeah, you know it's been a while since I've had ice cream. I'm not the big, uh, I'm not a big sweets person. Only Disneyland Paris. I'd rather die than visit France. <laughs> oh, I just laugh at that because like one of my friends is is uh, from France, though they don't live in Paris. But <laughs> I, I've heard that Paris is is um, one of my friends, or no, my boyfriend went to Paris. And it's basically like a lot of big cities. Um, it's kind of dirty. Yeah, I'd go to France to visit Coro. I was about to do that when I went to Europe, when I went to Czech Republic to visit here because of the whole like whole fiasco about, about COVID and everything. Um, I might have been able to go to France, but we wanted to see her. Hey, Diz! Welcome, welcome. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day today. I guess I I should start putting just chatting as as um, my stream category at the very beginning, but I have done that in the past, but multiple times I've forgotten to change it to the game that I'm playing when I start playing my game. So we're we're playing Hotel Dusk right now. That's totally what we're doing right now. <laughs> You're having a good day? Nice! I'm glad you're having a good day, Diz. Our anniversary is this weekend. Oh yeah, you said your anniversary is soon. Eee! Eee! Hype, 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 hype. I hope you all have a good anniversary. 
Paris is cleaner than London, in my opinion. Oh, so you, you've been to both places, Cries? What? Have you been to New York? How would you compare it to New York? Because that's the only place I've been to. We gotta smuggle Koro in. Smuggle Koro in to the US? We gotta get him out of France? <laughs> Hotel Imagination. Ooh, what kind of outfit did you get? Did, uh, what kind of outfit did you get, Diz? That's always a nice experience. Like, you get you get dressed up, it feels nice, it feels special. Because it is special, but it's as special as you make it make it out to be. I know, like, some people who don't like, um... Who don't like making... A big event of things like that. Like, anniversaries. But I, I tend to like doing... I, I don't like doing, like, huge things, but... Um... I do like to do some little things to make it special, like gifts or go out somewhere. <laughs> it just looks like Sweeney Todd. What's Sweeney Todd? Yep, I haven't been to NY. Yeah, NY just smells like uh, weed, cigarette smoke, trash. If you're in, if you're like in the center of the city, other parts of New York City are fine. Yeah, it's fucking filthy. It's it's pretty bad. Tell literally ev everyone you know. Wait, what are you referring to, Draken? NYC is tall. Yeah, <laughs> it's very tall. Similar to what my character wears, like frilly lazy shirt and a vest. Oh, you mean like from your um, from your uh, profile picture on Twitch, right? I really like that that um drawing. Androgynous and, and uh, I can't talk. I look like a dandy. Hell yeah. That sounds stylish as fuck. NYC was loud? Oh yeah, and you can't make eye contact with anyone in NYC, or like any big city, I guess. Um, at least in the US, because there's always people trying to like, bother you, or scan you or something. You know, once I went to um, a big city, and there I made eye contact with a guy, and he gave me his mixtape. <laughs> It was actually a mixtape, but it looked shady as fuck, because it had, like, sh uh, Sharpie written- Like, it, he wrote the title in the Sharpie on the CD. I forget whether I actually paid him or not. I might have paid him. <laughs> this was in high school. Sweeney Todd is a musical that takes place in London. Oh, okay. Oh, Draken, for anniversary. I gotta tell everyone when our anniversary is. I'll probably do that when our next one comes up. You look very dandyish. Just need the shaky, like, bakey apron to finish the look. Oh, I, I, I wear that for my anniversary. Was the mixtape fire? Okay, so I didn't actually listen to it myself. So after I, I bought it, or got it, I really forget whether or not I gave money for it. Uh, my friend was the one who put it in a spare laptop that they had because they weren't sure if it had, like, like bad software on it. And, um, they're the ones who listened to it. I didn't listen to it after that. I, I don't know if the mixtape was fire. I'll, honestly, I don't know where it is now. My friend probably still has it. No, I didn't because, okay, so the reason why I bought it was because the guy just came up to me in the street. And he was like trying to, he was holding out the mixtape. He's like, you want this? You want this? And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> And this was when I was still... Um, very naive about interacting with people in the city. So I just did whatever the person wanted because I was very anxious and scared. <laughs> so I didn't actually want it. I just went with the flow. And then my friends were like, Doodle, what? What did you do? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that, that happened. I almost forgot that happened. But it's a funny story to tell. But yeah, um, I remember there was this one guy who, it, when I went to New York with a bunch of my female-bodied friends, uh, he like, he like came up to us and he's like, y'all looking like beautiful flowers in bloom. And we just like didn't make eye contact with him. We walked away, but like, what the fuck, man? There are also like monks in the city, air quote monks who try to, like, get money because they're monks. 
But really, monks wouldn't come up to you, uh, depending on, on what they practice. But if this was a Buddhist monk, they wouldn't try to ask for money. They would just wait for money to come, because they're not supposed to ask for it. Judo, what have you done? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> well, I bought a, a fire mixtape. <laughs> but yeah, um, just just strange. But I guess when I went to um, Prague, which is the capital of the Czech Republic, when I went there, I, I was like so used to like trying to like rush past people and not make eye contact. But Prague is actually pretty nice. Uh, people aren't constantly trying to scam you on the street. So I was, I, I could let my guard down there a little bit. Cause Koro was like, Koro was with me and I was like, don't make eye contact with people. And Koro was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, in the big city, you don't do that. But in Prague, I, they were nice people. <laughs> Don't speak the language. Easier not to get scammed. Yeah, but also it was just like, there's a lot of people... I don't know. It, it's like more of an old town city, so I guess less people... It didn't have the vibe of New York. Your money. Hand it over. Now. Please. But yeah, um... The good thing is, I never have cash on me. I only have my credit card. So, most of the time I only have my credit card. Sometimes I have cash. So, if they ask for money, I'm like, sorry, I don't have cash. I'm not going to give you my card. What you drinking? I'm having a Trulies. It's a margarita-style Trulies. Strawberry hibiscus. Yeah, face down, walk wherever you're going with purpose, and that's it. Yeah, that's how you walk in the city. You just do not make eye contact with anyone, and you walk like you're in a rush. There are sketchy parts of Prague? Okay, maybe I didn't go there then. Is it alcoholic? Yeah, it's alcoholic. I'm just having one thing right now. But it's been a while since I had a Trulies. I, um, I had been drinking rum for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I usually drink rum, rum with Diet Coke, but I always make it really strong, so it just tastes like rum. Uh, <laughs> gotta get blasted so we can be re reading fanfic by the end of stream? Okay, Bebop, speaking of fanfiction, you brought up Hotel Dusk fanfiction yesterday. Did somebody say rum? Yes, I love rum. I love making rum and coke. Because it's easy. Um, rum, like mostly rum with a hint of coke. Like a side of coke. <laughs> a spritz, a little spray. <laughs> but yeah, so Bebop, you talked about Hotel Dust fanfiction. I actually read like a fic. Um, and it had me crying at the end. Because it was an angsty Bradley Kyle fic. And it had, like, like, yeah. <laughs> it was so sad! Because it, it took place, like, before the game, the events of the game, and I was just like, oh no, I know where this is going. <laughs> Rum and eggnog? Wait, I didn't know that was a... I didn't know that was a thing. I've had rum and orangina before. Orangina, the, the orange soda drink, and it's really good. Just a weird wum. Woo woo woo, where's a tweet? A weird Uh, drinks two glasses of that shit and I'm absolutely blasted. Oh god, I love Kirby music. But yeah, I'm, I hope y'all are having at least an alright day so far, preferably a great day. But I will move on to Hotel Dusk, let's see. You got this shit going on. Because I do want to get through the chapter today, and then um, we can maybe, maybe play some Rune Factory 5. I'm currently like two-thirds through the way of spring. Um, I'm making kind of slow progress, but it's still fun. Drank that shit a lot during the holidays last December? 
I guess, yeah, it would be like a Christmassy, wintry kind of drink, right? Eggnog is usually that kind of stuff. So, I remember I had a... <laughs> I guess it's no secret that I... That I interact with Devil's Lettuce sometimes. So, I remember in college, when I was first, like, trying that stuff out, we made, like, weed nog? And then it was awful. Because <laughs> we were freshmen in college that had no idea how the fuck to make edibles. So I threw up after having it. Probably because of the eggnog, another because of my anxiety. Thank you for the head pat! Oh my god, why does this always happen? This is another thing that I have to think about every stream. I have to reset the uh, source for this. One second. I will give you the head pat after. I'll, I'll redeem it for you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Head pat. Wow! Thank you for the head pat! Thank you! Okay, wellness pack. Stretch. And I'm already sitting straight. And water. Yeah, I gotta make a, a little checklist now. Um, because there's just so many things I have to do before stream. I have to make the Twitter post, I have to change the stream title and category, I have to make sure that, like, I don't have a hundred tabs open on my browser. Now I gotta do the sources and stuff. It's too much for me. I only have a tiny fronge brain. Yeah! Yeah, weed nog. What could go wrong? Especially when it's made by uh, college freshmen who don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think when I threw up, um, well, I knew what I threw up, but I think my throw up was like pink or something. I don't know how the fuck that happened. <laughs> you don't sit straight, you sit gay. <laughs> that is true, I sit gay. I, I sit round. I had to get a Trello going. Idle on helped a lot. What's what's a Trello? Like for your stream? Dangam rope up on it. Yeah, yeah, it was pink. I was like, what the fuck did I eat to make it pink? I don't know. December 28, 1979. 10 to 11 p.m. You got a little present over there? When you throw up Pepto Bismol? Oh yeah, I, there's been another time that I threw up pink, and that was when I had Pepto Bismol. I sit cake. I sit on my cakes. Now for commissions? It's like a workflow checklist you use to organize and store references and stuff. Oh, okay. That sounds really helpful. Also, Diz, speaking of commissions and stuff, I saw your stream when you were working on commissions. I was just, um lurking but your new model or, or at least like your really chibi model it's so cute i love it i love how how squishy it is and the clock strikes 10. maybe i'll join louie in the bar for another belt who, who just goes to the bar gets out and then goes to the bar again isn't the bar like a one-time thing well i guess there are people who like go on bar or what is it bar crawls or something so they go to multiple bars Tuta! Yeah, I love it. I want to make outfits for it. it. And it should be simpler to do compared to like your regular model too. So it's like a nice little thing to experiment on. Also, thank you for the follow. The Crying Kings. Oh, is that you, Link? Hello. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> this is Chibi Model So Good, right? Oh, hey, stranger! Yeah, I totally don't know you. <laughs> How's it going? Thank you for lurking during my art stream. It makes me happy to know there's a frond around. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there to, like, uh, give you a little support from the sidelines. Thank you for the- Thank you for the head, Patrick! Hey, Link! Okay, so we're gonna talk to Louie again. We walk so fucking slow in here. I'm getting a chibi model too for my birthday. 
Oh, are you commissioning someone or are they like doing it for you as a gift? Look what the cat dragged in. Have a seat, Hyde. Bar's empty. Yeah, I got the entire place to ourselves. Take a load off. Take a load off, my man. Load up. Spew your load, my man. You want a drink? A martini or a scotch? Come on, Kyle's a scotch man. A Drago chibi model? Nice. Oh yes, I do have a Discord as well. Yeah, just a, a little background. Link is uh, an old time friend. We recently got back in contact. Why do you think I'm here? Scotch on the rocks, make it a double. Coming right up. I've never had scotch before. So first he has a bourbon and now he has a scotch. Or bourbon? Is that how it is? I told them I'd pay, but they said no because birthday. I'm still trying to convince them to let me pay. That's that's nice of you, that you're trying to pay them. Because I, I usually try to ch pay whoever I commission as well. Because I always feel uh, feel bad making them do work for free. Take a load off. Load up. Spew your load, man. Thank you for the quote cries. Borbin. Ah! Come on, you gotta... <laughs> I, I, first, it's, it's Weather's Original. Now it's Borbin. Borbin. You're looking kind of grim, man. Something got your shorts in a bundle? Something like that. Lay it on me, brother. Louis the bartender's all ears. The boar tender. <laughs> More like all mouth. What is it with folks wanting to yap it up tonight? Well, cause you're, you're, you kind of give off that energy, Kyle, that... And plus you stick your nose in their business. What? Isn't it more like Kyle's fault that he, that everyone's unloading on him? I feel bad that they're rigging for me. Like, please let me pay you. Yeah, just like slip them, slip them a little money. Do you know their PayPal? You could just like, uh... You could just like send them a little something something. Bourbon. Yeah, I, I think that's the right pronunciation. Wiggle. That's what's up? Folks been laying all their problems on you? That about covers it. Kyle, you're asking them to lay their problems on you. Kyle Hyde, advice calling this to low lives and crooks the world over. You're a regular comedian, Denono. Why the hell people want to drop their problems on a guy like me? Because... <laughs> you keep sticking their nose in their business. Does it seem like these people are like... Okay, guys, you've been watching me play this. Kyle has been like, hey, what's this? What's this? He's asking all these questions until they just like open up. It's not, it's not uh, their fault. <laughs> yeah, surprise them on PayPal. Having an artist PayPal makes gifting art tricky. Yeah, because you can always just you always one way send it to them. Haha. -ha. You don't get nothing. It's because people always want to talk to a guy like you. Oh, is this where uh, Kyle? Uh, is this where Denono like uh, reveals what Kyle comes off as to people? Wiggle. What do you mean a guy like me? Guy who looks like he don't give a damn. Guy who ain't gonna preach or judge. Oh yeah, that's true. He does. He's not really super judging. <laughs> a guy who looks like he's taken a few punches and knows what it's like to hurt. Look, man, I think I know how they feel. Check this out. We're in the middle of the holiday season, right? Last Friday night of the year. They look around and realize they're all alone in the sad old wreck of a hotel. Got some thinking, you dig? About their lives, what they've done, where they're going. You know what happens next? All their secrets and worries and stuff kinda boil over. And then they go looking for somebody to talk to. Know what I'm saying? Hell, Louie, you're the one that sounds like an ad and vice columnist. Also, Louis was the f was the guy in chapter one that unloaded onto Kyle in the first place. You can mail it too? Oh, you know their address? Maybe, but I'm right, yeah? Look at you, man. You got secrets and crap hidden in your heart, right? Not this guy. I have no problems. 
<laughs> Maybe. See? Trust old Denono on this one. You're a good guy, even if you don't know it. Take a seat at the end of the bar. That's such a... fucked up sweatshirt. It's so crinkly. Here you go. Lily puts a glass on the counter. I take a drink of scotch. The world stops for a moment as I sit and stare into the glass. The ice shifts. A single piece slips beneath the surface, never to rise again. Ooh. And then I hear Bradley's voice in my head. Bradley. Hey, buddy. When this case wraps up, we need to have a chat. There's something I need to talk to you about. I love you. Can you make the time? Yo, hide? Yo, hide? Huh? How's the scotch? Goes down smooth, don't it? Yeah, nice glass, too. It's got a good weight to it. And I see Nikki Bradley in my head. God, when I read the fanfic yesterday, it was so well written. It was Everything was so in character. Well, as in character as you can get with Bradley, because you don't know, like, what his personality was really like. But, like... Honestly, after reading that, I, I see it as canon now. It's my head canon. How they acted and, like, their experiences. Nice, huh? I can tell what you like, my man. Looks like it. I told you about this, right? This is the one job I take seriously. Good gig, huh? I'm gonna tell you something. But don't go laughing. I know it's stupid, but I always wanted a place like this for my own. That so? I ain't saying it all started because I met you. But you know when I started thinking about it? It was after you laid that story on me in the cop shop back in Manhattan. We, we, we inspired Louie to leave a straightforward life? What story is that? Aw oh, man, don't tell me you forgot. It was the third time you busted me. He was, we was in one of them crappy little interview rooms. Come on, I can still hear you. You dream of being a thief as a kid, Louie? This your dream job? I'm sure there's something else you wanted, right? Fireman? Doctor? Superhero? You read Louie a fanfic and he gave up the life of crime. He he read he read a, a little Louie Kyle fanfic. I was staring at the ceiling and thinking you was you was gonna play good cop that day. Give me the you can turn your life around, son speech, yeah? Then you got real quiet, and the serious look came into your eyes. Remember? Also, when I was looking up Hotel, Hotel Dusk fanfic, there was shit uploaded this year. Someone's still writing fanfic for this game. And I was like, damn. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank y'all to those people who still upload fanfic for old-ass titles. That's when you did it, man. You made up that story to save me from myself. Hold on. I don't remember making up a story. Here's the last hint. If you still don't remember, I give up. It was about your pops. We getting some Kyle Hyde backstory? Wait, wait. I said something about my father? I see a light bulb. It's getting brighter. There it is! Yeah, man, told me your pops was some kind of genius safecracker. Oh, that story. I remember the whole thing. It was ten, your pops decides to go straight. Decides to take one last box job and then gets bumped off. I gotta tell you, Hyde, even when I knew you was... When I, you was pulling my leg, I almost cried. You told me your pops didn't want to be a thief. Said he wanted to be an artist. Then you leaned in close and talked so quiet I could barely hear. And he came in for the smooch. Mwah. Don't make the mistake he did. Don't live a lie. Total trip, man. Then you told me that unless I was looking to do hard time, I better find what I wanted. Find it. Grab it. And never let it go. Amen to that, my man. When I first started working here, I couldn't sleep. Just laid on that crap-ass bed Dunning gave me and stared at the ceiling. And then one night, that story just pops in my head, yeah? And it hits me. Even though I'm just a damn street punk, I got something. Seems pretty small to most normal folks, but it's mine and I got it. Aww. 
This is a nice story. This is a nice exchange between them. Find what you want and grab it, Louie. Firmly. Just hold it in your hand. Maybe move it, move it up and down a little bit. And, um, I don't know. Re remembering your dreams. Thought it was a lie, huh? Huh? No way. It's true? <laughs> it's the truth, Louie. Every word. Whoa, wait! You're yanking my chain, ain't ya? Not this time. It was true? Damn, what a trip. So what do you say? Another round? Why not? What do I want next? Take your time, man. Yo, Hyde, I got something else to tell ya. Pouring drinks ain't the only thing that's got my attention these days, yeah? <laughs> it's hard to figure out how to... What tone to read the sentence in when you don't know the whole sentence. Find you want, find what you want, and grab it, Louie. Firmly. Let me guess, it's Dame. That's a given, brother. But no, that ain't what I'm talking about. Check this out. Kyle's gonna be fucking incoherently drunk by the end of this. Right? He's had a bourbon? He had a scotch? What's he gonna have next? What? Right here, my man. Uh, balls? Uh, boobs? Like, what is he grabbing? He's like, just, just go up and, I wish you guys could see what, what, what gesture I'm doing. But just grab him by the balls and hold on tight. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm talking about bowling, you know? Balls? <laughs> balls? Balls? And those little hand dryer balls? <laughs> Anyone around here like bowling? I used to really like bowling. I always had my birthday parties there. You know Kyle Balls? <laughs> I thought I was the only guy around here who liked bowling. Also, damn, I'm sweating. In my room. Ah! There's a fan on! Why am I sweating? Ah, here, I gotta be sweaty, Fraud Franz now. Get out of here. You roll hide? No way! You wanna see? When I throw a strike, pins beg for mercy. Yeah, right, what else you selling? What do you say, officer? Think you can keep up with my hook? When and where? Wanna try and beat me? Be here at 11. What? Are we gonna play bowling with Louie? I forgot about this, if, if we do actually. There's no way we can bowl in here. No joke, bowling, tonight, 11 o'clock sharp. There's a bowling minigame? <laughs> huh? Someone's here. Oh, it's summer. Customer. Summer again? Crap. How you doing? Good evening, gentlemen. Take a seat right here. What can I get you? I believe I'll have the gin and tonic, my good man. <laughs> Summer's so fucking funny. I don't know why I find him so funny. Brumge. Hey, Senti. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Bowling for burgers? <laughs> Thank you for the head pat! I'm sorry I'm so sweaty. I, I hope you uh, don't have to wipe uh, your hand off afterwards. <laughs> yes, of course. I got something I wanted to talk to you about. What a coincidence. You see... <laughs> Reverb fart. Brap. Oh, that was a sweaty one. Why so sweaty? I, um... It's just really hot in my room, so I'm a bit sweaty. <laughs> what a coincidence! You see, I was hoping to run into you. There's something I had hoped to discuss with you as well. But I believe my news can wait until later. If you're so inclined... <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it in. If you're so inclined, Mr. Hyde, please begin. What a coincidence! <laughs> well, it's about your buddy, Alan. Alan, did you say? You sure you got no idea where he's at? Quite sure. No clues or leads or anything like that, huh? No, nothing of the sort. But it's not like you went out of your way to look for the guy. And what, may I ask, do you mean by that? 
common sense. It's better for you if he's out of the picture. Mr. Hyde, I will be checking out of this hotel on the morrow. I will then proceed to the offices of local newspaper, of a local newspaper and tell them my story. Thank you for the wellness pack and the head pat. Okay, let me stretch. Drink some water. I believe they will enjoy the tale of the famous author and his fall from grace. You see, I plan to use the media to search for Alan. Didn't see that one coming. Listen, Summer. I stumbled on your secret by accident. I didn't have plans to tell anyone about it. You didn't have plans? Yeah, but, well, I was talking to someone and it slipped. I, I see. Well, then... It is fortunate that I'm planning on telling my tale to the public. If I may ask, to whom did you reveal my secret? Oh boy, you got another thing coming, man. <laughs> no, I gotta tell him the truth. What good would it do to lie? Thank you for the head pat! The old lady in room 212 names Helen Parker. Helen Parker? I love this expression that Summer has. <laughs> He's just like... She's the one who had the pen engraved for Alan. Mr. Hyde. I gave the pen back to her. Hmm? Here you go. One gin and tonic. Walking into a discussion he has no idea about. Oh, that looks like a good gin and tonic. Looks like you're having yourselves a good time over here. Nah! Oh, that's the face of uh, two men. Uh, the faces of two men who are having a good time. Eh, no? Nothing? Yeah, well, I'll just go over there then. Louis leaves. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm gonna back out of this conversation. <gasps> Summer's expression. Yes, that's very accurate. <laughs> you said there's something you wanted to talk about. What is it? Quite right. I was so surprised by your admission, I completely forgot my own topic. Actually, it's about the woman we met earlier in this very establishment. Oh, is this chapter gonna be about... What's her name? Iris? I forget. What chapter are we on? I have no idea. Who, Iris? Yes, that's her. I must say, she bears a striking resemblance to the actress Cecily Lee. If you felt a sense of deja vu upon meeting Iris, you now know why. There's a quite striking photo of her doppelganger on this month's issue of Baboom. <laughs> oh, wait, was that the, the, men's, the men's magazine that we picked up earlier? Wait, she's a Gravier model? No, 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 no. It's a doppelganger, so it's another person who looks like her. Okay. What kind of actress is this Cecily Lee? My good man, are you truly unfamiliar with her? Yes, I'm very gay. <laughs> I don't get out much. She's an up-and-coming thespian who's garnered quite a bit of recent popularity. She got her start on one of those tawdry daytime soap operas. Deja Pew. Yeah, I've smelled this stench before! <laughs> it's a very familiar stench! It's the stench of Chat's farts, and also my farts sometimes. She got her star on one of those blah, blah 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 blah. Her performance received wild praise from critics and fans alike. I believe she is scheduled to make her debut on the silver screen next year. <laughs> Few people know that she was a model before she took up the craft of acting. She's not as young as the other new starlets, but she has a certain... something. Boobs. That's quite the intro, Summer. You steal her biography? Please, Mr. Hyde, I'm merely reciting the information I've heard on Wikipedia. And I do not appreciate your attempt at jocularity at my expense. What does jocularity mean? This is the... Google. Oh, joking. Like humor. The question, sir, is why would Cecily Lee be staying in this, in this hotel on her own? It does around, arouse one's curiosity, does it I, not? Oh, I can't speak. All right, enough chatter. I got a blow. Blow? Truly? Well, I shall remain a while longer and savor the proffered spirits the fuck, Summer? What are you saying? Okay. 
Let's see if we can talk to Louie. Louie? What? Oh, I got no questions. Okay, I guess we're gonna blow this popsicle stand. Wait, is my is my drink still here? It's a glass of bourbon. Huh, someone knew I was coming. Wait, didn't I have a scotch? It's a bottle of bourbon and it's and it's open. Huh, I like this place already. <laughs> you gonna drink the whole bottle of bourbon, Kyle? Oh, it's Melissa! Hello! Hello, little, little toddler. Hey, Squirt. She's not a toddler. Bobin. Oh god, I said it again. A bourbon. A bourbon. Hi, mister. What are you doing here? Dad's gone. What? Again? Are you looking for him? Uh-huh. Well, he's not in the bar. The bar? It's a place for adults. It's called the Seven Stars Bar. It's through that door at the end of the hallway. See the sign with the big star on it? Star? Oh, I remember. I saw that before. It was all pretty and stuff. It was kind of like the star on top of a Christmas tree. Yeah, I suppose. Did you get any Christmas presents this year? Oh yeah, I got, I got tons of presents. Yeah, tons. I had to chop down a redwood tree so they could all fit under it. Wow! Nice, huh? Haha! <laughs> I knew he would do a little smirk. Uh-huh. How about you? You got no presents? You get anything? Mmm. Yeah, I guess that figures. Aw, oh, Melissa deserves a ton of presents. Here, and let me let me give you a little no, I'm not gonna smooch you. That's weird. I'll give you a little, a little uh, fart. Here, let me, let me, let me give her a little fart. Where is it? <laughs> Smells like uh, butterflies and and cake. Oh, we got another one coming. We got another one coming. Ooh, ooh, ah! Comfy cozy. I'm glad you're feeling cozy, Senti. <laughs> no, not another one! Oh no, oh god, it, it just... It won't stop. <laughs> it just keeps coming. <laughs> but at least you got to decorate the tree, right? She didn't get to decorate a tree? My dad's a jerk. <laughs> we trembling and reverb farts. Can't argue with that. So why is he a jerk? We didn't have anything for Christmas. No presents, no cookies. Not even a stupid tree. That so? Hey, kid. Don't worry about your old man. He'll be back soon. Kyle got the whiskey farts? Is that a thing? Is, is, is whiskey farts a thing? Go wait in your room. Melissa sighs and heads out the door. And it is now 10.20. <laughs> I will keep that in mind for whenever I next drink whiskey, which probably won't happen in a while. Well, I do drink Bailey's, um, which is which has whiskey in it. So I guess that's the only whiskey I drink. Huh? Oh, Mr. Hyde, good evening. You still cleaning? Oh, yes. Everyone else gets to take a break, but not Rosa. No, no. But this is it. Once I'm done here, I'm finished for the day. Melissa come through here? Melissa? Yes, she just went up to the second floor. Why? Why are you asking? Looks like the kid actually went back to her room. But the poor thing looked as sad as can be. Did something happen? What happened? Rosa, you're such a gossip. Why are you doing- Why are you asking me so much? He's just machine gu gun crop dusting every room he goes to now? Yeah, he's uh, marking his territory with a scent. Her mom ran out on her. Is that so? Yeah. Poor child. All families have their grief, but... Losing a mother? That's too much to ask of any child. I don't have anything to ask you. Why, why, why are you doing this to me? 
Do I have something to give you? Lobby newspaper. Duplicate key. No. I don't got anything to give to you. Alright, I've gotta get going. Wait, Mr. Hyde, wait just one second, please. There's something that's been bothering me. Shoot. It's about Melissa. See, she asked me if the hotel had a Christmas tree. Well, I told her that we did, but Christmas has already come and gone, you, know, you see? I explained how Dunning always takes down the decorations on the 26th. And well, she just looks so sad. And here broke my heart, it did. Yeah, that's... that's sad, alright. Do you have any idea why she would be asking about a tree? It's because she didn't have one at home. No presents, either. Oh, how sad. That poor thing. What an awful father that Kevin Woodward is. Well, it's no wonder she wanted to see a tree. Yeah. Aw, yeah, Melissa didn't get any presents or a tree. Not even a piece of candy as a present. <laughs> what a shame. The tree and decorations are in the storage room on the first floor. What a shame. See you around. Is she, is she like hinting for me to go to the first floor and like get the, get the decorations or something? By the way, Rosa, you got any quarters? I kind of need a quarter. Yeah, poor kid. Her, her dad, like her dad has his heart in the right place, but he's just kind of... <laughs> eh, he's not the best father. It seems. Does this go down? Room 111. Wait, did she stay in the storage room? I think I might need to go there then. Got a minute. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I forgot what she said. Oh, she won't let me go in here. Isn't this the first floor, or is there... I think there was a basement or something, but... I'm not sure if I can go down there. Main office, Dunning's room... Nothing else? Rosa's room... Storage! Is this it? Are we gonna make a, a little tree for Melissa? That would be very nice. First a bowling mini game, and now making a tree mini game? Oh yeah. I, I am supposed to go here, because there's a whole transition. Christmas tree. I think Rosa did that on purpose, didn't she? She she told me where the Christmas tree was, so I could get give Melissa a little Christmas tree. It's a big locker. I totally forgot about this part of the game. I didn't- I forgot that there's like a whole Christmas tree bit. Because it is Christmas. Big locker. Oh, there's something in here? There's a black light in the locker. What? Why do I need this? This might come in handy, or I could use it to throw Iris a party. What? <laughs> no way, I'm not touching any rope that comes from a dirty hotel. What? You touch the black light, but you don't touch the rope? There's nothing in the cardboard box. Okay, okay, I have no idea why we need the black light, but okay. Time to search all the boxes. The tree must be behind these boxes somewhere. Can't believe I'm actually looking for a Christmas tree. I'm going soft. <gasps> Is it pushing boxes puzzle? We're pushing boxes? <laughs> oh my fucking god. It, this is the, the moving boxes puzzle. Oh, that's the Christmas- I don't remember this puzzle! This is fucking dumb. Oh, I love the noises that the boxes make. Okay, I guess that was it. Hello, Christmas tree. I'm glad that you're in a specially marked box. Oh my god, Kyle, you're so cute! I'll drink to that smile. 
That's the tree box. Wait, is that Melissa? Melissa! Hey, Squirt, what are you doing here? Rosa came to my room and told me to get down here. She said I could see a Christmas tree if I went to the storage room. Oh, Rosa's so nice! Aww. <laughs> She's manipulating us. She said you'd be here too. And she told me I could decorate the tree, so can I, huh? Rosa saw right through me. This hotel is turning me into a real sap. Hey, mister. Let's decorate the tree together. Come on, huh? Sure, kid. Why not? It's a tree decorating mini game. Aww. I forgot about this. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay. Yeah, we got the candy cane. No, let's put it low so that like, so she can what? Oh, does it does it have to match up with the color or something? Okay. Smiling Kyle sm spotted. Heart go doki doki. Doki 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 doki. Okay, we got one more left. Yeah, these are such cute decorations. I love the little heart or ornament. Oh no, the delay? Yeah, you might have to re refresh your page. Or like exit stream and come back just because there I did reconnect earlier. We got a little star on top too. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yay! It's a Christmas tree for me! Sure is. Uh-huh. Well, Squirt, it's three days late, but here you go. We're back. It says I'm dropping a lot of fra frames, though. Also, hey, Koro! coming through hell yeah okay it looks like it's green for now but I will keep an eye on that hell yeah and, and it looks like the delay isn't bad so yeah that that came through like right away <laughs> hello scrunkly I'm glad you could join us oh no it went red again okay it's back it's orange? It's red? Okay. Oh, oh well. Just let me know, um... If a wired connection is better for stream? Yeah, but I don't have any ethernet, um... I don't have e any ethernet, like, ports in my room. I think? Actually? 
Yeah, I don't have any ethernet ports. I do have that one little thing that looks like a, a coil coming out of my wall, but I have no idea how to use that. Um, but yeah, just let me know if it starts buffering a lot again, just so I can, like, try and address it. But thank you guys for, uh, pointing that out before. But yeah, I was, um, while we were buffering, we, I was freaking out because Melissa smiled. Such a wholesome smile, because she got her tree. You can always run a dummy long one from wherever the rooter is, if that's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I, I could do that. It is on the same floor. Time for a 60 for, foot ethernet cable? <laughs> Honestly, like, maybe 30 foot would be fine. Because it's like, in a room on the same floor, and I'm in a townhouse, so it's not too big. But, um, yeah, so Melissa was very happy with our tree. Um, Mila came in, and now Louie is here. And he, Louie was saying that once he heard that Melissa and Mila were coming, he had to come. And I'm like, why did you include Melissa on that? Use a 60-foot cable in your old place? I do have a really long Ethernet cable. I think it's in my closet, because I used it um, when I was in Japan. Just takes a little time to make it look nice. Yeah, I I think it should be fine. And if I tape it to the ground, it won't make anyone trip, hopefully. But yeah, maybe I could do that. But then again, I'm planning on moving later this year, so maybe it'll be easier to get a a, a wired connection there. But who knows? We'll we'll see what that what happens with that. But let's continue the cutscene. Thank you guys for your patience. Yeah, he said, can't have a party without Louie, brother, am I right? Ow! So, Mila, did Rosa tell you to come here too? Rosa, you're organizing a Christmas party? Come on, let's have ourselves a good time. Time to party like it's 1990. Isn't that like 11 years from now, dude? Ow! Do, do whatever you want. Just stop trying to make me have fun. <laughs> Kyle, he's allergic to fun. The feeling of being here is so good. I'm glad. I'm glad that we got the connection fixed. Somewhat. We'll see how it goes. But I'm glad y'all are enjoying your time here. Kyle's just fucking allergic to fun. What do you think of the tree? Sad music plays. Look at how she's staring at it. Like a little kid. Did she not have a key, a, a tree when she was a kid? I like having everyone here. It's really... Uh, it's fun. Good times, huh? Uh-huh. It's the... Uh, getting sleepy? It is, it is quite late for a kid. Hey. Is she sleeping on her feet? Even with the issues, this is amongst the best? Hell yeah! I'm glad. At like a light. Why, why is she sleeping? Oh, she's sleeping on her feet? Damn, I don't know how people do that. Hey, Louie. Yeah? Time for the first with Koro? Yeah, Koro's streams are comfy. I, I'm, I don't interact as much as I maybe should. Because I don't really interact that much in people's streams in general. I tend- I'm mainly a lurking person, but it, it's- it is a good atmosphere. Melissa fell asleep. Take her back to her room. Huh? Me? Why do I gotta do it? I wanna chat with Mila, man! You know, flash her a bit of the Denono charm. Please don't flash her. Louis, the kid's asleep. Take her back to her room before she catches a cold. You work here, remember? Like I could forget. Yeah, all right, I'm going. <sighs> Melissa, hey, come on. Let's get you back to your room. Lurking is valid as fuck. Yeah, I just feel bad that I don't interact as much as I could. But Louis picks up Melissa and carries her out of the room. Uh, I miss when I could be picked up. I I miss the times where I could be picked up by a per by a person. How you feeling? Fever gone. Oh yeah, by the way, I need to go pee, so I'll be R I'll I'll BRB. BRB for a minute.
I'm back. Also, I'm not really sweaty anymore, so let me unsweat myself. Did y'all miss me? Another pee break gone through without me dying. Never too late to be picked up? That's true, but it's a lot easier to be picked up when you're a kid. Because you're lighter. People don't gotta be as strong. Good. So what do you do for Christmas? Who would you spend it with? I open my notebook and hand it to Mila. Yes, I missed y'all too. I was peeing and thinking of you guys. Mila writes something in my notebook. Oh yeah, we gotta pick this up every time she writes something. Hmm? Oh shit. A tissue fell. I have no one. Yeah, that's creepy! <laughs> Oh my god, Mila, are you okay? By yourself, huh? Where is your father? Here you go. Hand Mila into my notebook. Don't tell me your father's dead. I- I- Like, before I- I, I said, um, I don't remember too much about this game. Just little beats, bits and pieces. Where is dad now? She doesn't know? He's gone? What, you don't know where he's at? Mila's just sad. Her her whole story is pretty sad. That's why sad music plays whenever you see her. <laughs> what does your father do? What's his job? Can you tell me where he lives? Just write it down for me. Give Mila my notebook. Mila writes down, he's dead as fuck. <laughs> Mila hesitates, then writes something. Thanks. Santa Monica, Gallery May. IDK, LOL. <laughs> Using LOL in, in the 70s. Gallery May in Santa Monica? Your father owns an art gallery? Hmm, art gallery. You've heard a lot about art galleries here, huh? Oh, it's you. Oh, look at that! What a lovely tree! I bet Melissa was happy. Yeah, her and Louie both. That's nice. Something good came from your snooping after all. Come on, Mila, I think it's time to go. He was poggers, but when he disappeared, it was super weird champ and little sad. <laughs> Is that- okay, I saw this video, um, Draken sent me this video that was like, uh, retirement homes in like 2077, and it was- wait, I need to show you guys this now. I need to show it to you now, because it's like, there's an old man, but he- he uses like a bunch of like slang. Oh god, I shouldn't have opened up my browser. Let me see, where is that video? Oh my god, you can hear it just going so slow. You should have put Sag, right? That's like the great finishing touch. Yeah, nursing homes in 2077. Okay, let me share my... Browser. Yeah, it's chugging a lot. Whenever the DS is not the prev the prevalent thing on the on the screen, it just does that. Okay, here it is. Okay, it's kind of small, but what's important is the is the audio. Wait. Okay. So. I need to start it from the beginning. He was <laughs> That's a great quote. I think I want to ask Mrs. Peterson out on a date. 
Aw, well, that's very sweet, Mr. Lawrence. God, that woman's thick, no cap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Two C's on that. That's not right. thick, Mr. Lawrence. Ooh, I bet those back shots hit different. <laughs> You can look, but you can't touch your old simp. <laughs> I love that so much. She's she's thick, no cap. <laughs> I know, right? It's so good. Mr. Lawrence, that's not how you spell thick. <laughs> Cause by then our our lingo now will be so old. Drop that in chat, please. Of course. Here, you know, let me grab the grab the link. There it is. It's a little YouTube short. <laughs> she thick. Retirement home halls are just gonna be filled with echoing sh sounds of sheesh. No problem, Opalite. But yeah, it's... Damn. And they say that, like, retirement homes... Aren't retirement homes... Don't they have, like, a really high rate of STDs? Because they like they just fuck like crazy. And then they don't use condoms because they can't get pregnant. <laughs> the, the dusty... Sheesh! 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 <laughs> Alright, good night, Mr. Hyde. I'll be taking Mila back to my room now. Oh, and you can go ahead and leave the tree up. It's just too nice to take down. They fuck a lot, yeah. Like, imagine just having nat naturally not having to get pregnant. You would have sex so much. But make sure to wear a condom, because STDs are still a thing. Rosa leaves, taking Mila with her. Wow, 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 wow. Wait, let me... Is it decorated? I, I want to see the tree. Yeah, it's now decorated. Look at that PNG tree. It's jittering a little. We want to see Grandpa again this weekend, but he wouldn't stop playing Fortnite and telling us to touch grass. He w We want to see uh uh Grandpa Franz today, but he wouldn't stop playing Yume Tuki and talking about uh. Matotsuki and shit. They're like, what's an SG gonna do? Kill me in 20 years? That is true. That is true. <laughs> when you're that age, like the, the STDs that like creep in years later, you're like, I'm gonna die anyway. So like, might as well get it. Whose room is that? That's Dunning's room, right? Is that door open? Why, 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 why are you... <laughs> are you gonna snoop in Dunning's room? Holy shit, Kyle. Okay, one second. Let me save the state. He's like, door is open. I'm gonna go in. <laughs> you just walk into Dunning's room? I would be scared of shit, man. This must be Dunning's room. Okay, by the way, I I'm curious. What chapter are we on? Chapter 7. Damn, we're almost done with the game. We're like over two-thirds of the way through? I think there are ten chapters. There's some kind of a word here. I got no idea what this thing is. Hockey? Oh yeah, he's a hockey man. It's a hockey stick. Goes well with the flower painting. There's a painting of flowers hanging on the wall. Can I steal a quarter from here? He's got an American flag on his table. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, this looks like it would be Dunning's room. There's alcohol everywhere. It's a half-empty bottle of booze. Of course, I like to say it's half full. It's an empty glass. Saddest thing I've seen all day. It's an empty can. 
It's the sports page. The tablecloth looks like the stars and stripes. It's a simple wooden, wooden bureau. It's a leather chair. Looks comfy. I want to sit in it. Alright, I can't inspect anything else. It's a pop art calendar. Huh, Dunning struck me as more of a landscape guy. That's a photo of a couple of guys. It's a picture of Dunning. Whew, the camera sure ain't kind to him. Oh boy, Kyle. That's a pretty big TV. Wish the ones in my room was that big. Or wish the one in my room. It's the latest of video decks. Dunning's got more money than I thought. There's a clock. Wow. I'm glad I broke in here for this. <laughs> I'm glad I broke in this room to see a clock. It's a picture of a woman. Who needs a fireplace in LA? Okay. Also, this is a huge TV for the time. That's like a widescreen. Ah! It's a picture. Who's that? There's a framed photo on the shelf. It's a picture of a young girl. Hmm, wonder who's in the photo. Well, not like we're gonna ask Dunning, because then he would know- oops! We're sweating again! Ah. Hide! What in the hell are you doing in here? Isn't this the lobby? Don't get smart with me, pal. This is my own room. My mistake. Sorry to barge in. If you're sorry, then haul yourself out of here. Now, buddy, move it! That picture of the young girl in Dunning's room. Who could it be? It is now 10.40 p.m. How late are we staying up again? Okay, so this is chapter 7. It goes until 11 o'clock. And then there are two chapters after that. So we stay up until like 1? Or 2? I forget. I stay, I stay up that late on a daily basis. Well, 1 o'clock, more like 12 or 1. Let's see, who's around, who's around? I'm just gonna walk around and see if something stops me. Oh yeah, do I get to talk to Iris? Or should I talk to Rosa, cause she might know uh, who's in the picture. Someone's in the lobby. Huh? Oh, it's it's the guy. That's the dad. That's Melissa's old man. Hey, can you spare me some change? I want to get something from the vending machine. Got a minute? Oh, hey there. Looky here. Ish Mr. Hyde. Oh, he's drunk. He's smiling. It's a lovely night, isn't it? Ha ha ha. I see you're in a good mood. That's not <laughs> true. I'm just... <laughs> drunk is a skunk. Been to the bar, huh? I have, yes sir. Your daughter was looking for you. You're a liar, Mr. Hyde. A liar! I'm a liar? That's right, my little girl. She hates me. She never looked for me. That's why I know you're lying. Ha <laughs> ha. She was looking for you. Go to your room and ask her if you can make it that far. Mind your business. What do you know? Nothing. That's what. Get out of my life. Leave me alone. Kevin turns and stubbles his way towards the front desk. What the hell's eating him? Well, he's probably drinking his sorrows away because his wife left him. That's not a good, good coping mechanism. That's probably what he's doing. 
His wife hates him. His daughter hates him. His daughter doesn't hate him, but he thinks his daughter hates him. Hey, Woodward. <laughs> he just turns away. He ignored me. It's kind of sad, though. Got a minute? Don't want... Don't want company. Let me alone. Just leave me alone. Blurp? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Blurp? I know how to kill you in 57 ways, and your attitude is making me in itch to use half of them. Yes, exactly. Hey. You're really plowed, Doc! What's wrong? It's nothing. I don't drink much, and now I don't feel... I feel so good. Who are you drinking with? What difference that make? It's none of your business. Have it your way. Don't want company. Leave me alone. Okay. Well, let's see who's at the bar. I wonder who Kevin was throwing them back with. Maybe he was drinking alone? <laughs> he might have been drinking alone. But it was- it might have been Iris, actually. Thinking about it. It's the only other person it could be, really. Because everyone that we've uh, in interrogated is irrelevant. Yep. Huh? It's Iris. Thanks for coming in. The drinks were delicious. I was pleasantly surprised. Good to hear, I think. Anyway, hope you come back. I will. See you later. Hey. Ah! Damn it! Stop sneaking around, Hyde. You're gonna give me a heart attack. If you weren't mooning over the dame, you'd have heard me coming in. Ah, Mr. Hyde. As tactful as ever, I see. If you'll excuse me... Iris turns and totters out of the bar. God, Iris is so pretty. But she's a bitch. Likes you were, looks like you were having a good time. Don't be getting the wrong idea, brother. I was just making sure the lady enjoyed herself. Part of the job. Whatever you say, Louie. You may want to pick your tongue off the floor, though. Also, she was doing pretty good. She can hold her alcohol. You have to rest already. You want a drink? No, not now. Yeah, I hear ya. We've had enough tonight anyway. He, you had two drinks. Maybe? I think you had two or three. No one to stop? No one went to stop shows you appreciate a good drink. Can't abuse the stuff, right? Forget that and you'll end up like, like the dynamic duo I had in earlier. Slash to the gills. There's a framed photo of the little of a little girl in Dunning's room. You know who it is? Picture of a kid? No clue, man. Dunning ain't never invited me in for tea and cookies, you dig? Yeah, that's true. Rosa would probably know though. Who's the dynamic duo, Louie? Well, the better half just left. That babe Iris was tossing him back with Melissa's pops. Kevin and Iris were drinking together? Yeah, and more in a little, got back from putting Melissa to bed, and here they are. Planted at the counter like a couple of regulars. Looked like they was talking about something serious, too. Hmm. Then they both pounded back a row of drinks and got fried to the tonsils. Melissa's pops ain't much of a drinker. Thought he might repaint the bar, yeah? Luckily for me, he got up and stumbled out of here. Iris stuck around and had a couple more. She, wanted, she wasn't as bad off as I thought. Hurts to say it, man, but she wasn't here to chat me up. She was just killing time. Damn, Iris is a heavyweight. I, like, I went out drinking with, um, like, whenever I go out drinking with friends, I always get, like, really drunk first, because I'm a super lightweight. I can't really hold my liquor. <laughs> so what were they talking about? Who knows, man? Weather? Sports? Whatever rich, fancy people chat about. You telling me you didn't overhear anything? Well... 
I guess I did hear something. Melissa's pops said something about a gallery made in Santa Monica. Ooh! Where else have we heard that before? What did he say about the gallery? Sorry, brother. All I heard was a name. Guy was slurring like a prize fighter, yeah? Gallery May in Santa Monica? Does all this tie into where Mila's father works? What's up, Hyde? You thinking deep again? You could say that. Well, come on, man. Don't leave me hanging. What is it? I learned some things about Mila's old man. You did? How? More snooping? I asked Mila some questions and had her write the answers in my notebook. Damn, why didn't I think of that? Mila's old man is named Robert Evans. He owns Gallery Main Santa Monica. Whoa. There ain't two of them, no? Doubt it. What a coincidence! There are so many coincidences in this game. Yo, hi, do you think you know what I'm thinking? It depresses me, but yeah, I guess I am. Strange things from strange sources, huh? I better have a chat with your drunken friends. Oh, is it time to in, 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 uh, interrogate them? Here we go. I think I'll start with Iris. This is coming out of nowhere. Like, the, the build-up to talking to Iris is, like, strange. You don't really know much. I don't know what I'm gonna ask her. Because you barely interact with her up until this point. Alright, so before I fuck things up, let's save. Alright. Let's go! Also, I'm gonna stop sweating now. The door won't open. Oh, I need a knock. <laughs> Can I help you? Something I wanted to ask you. Fine. You know anybody runs a gallery down in Santa Monica? That's a rather odd question, isn't it? She looks like she didn't have any drinks at all. Holy shit. You were talking about a gallery at the bar. While you were drinking with Kevin Woodward. Remember? Guy from room 219? I remember my actions quite well, thank you. I didn't black out or anything. And what business is this of yours? Just curious. Do you want me to believe that you suddenly become a patron of the arts? Yeah, that's me. I'm a big fan of apple paintings and armless statues. Hmm. If you must know, I merely mentioned a gallery where an associate of mine works. Mr. Woodward that Woodward then told me, with no prompting for me, that he knew of it. Actually, I... I'm glad you're here. I need to speak with you about something. Believe it or not, I don't have anyone else to turn to for help. Ew, bot. <laughs> we got a bot in the house? Can I block this? Alright, bot is banned. Believe it or not, I don't have anyone of- oh, oh, oh. I already said that. Oh, I believe it. Just come in, will you? Oh, she has a- that's a cool painting in the background. There's a purse! She didn't really unpack, did she? So, where's the fire, Iris? When I returned to my room, it felt... odd. Then I saw it, and it is odd. Hey. Odder than you, haha! -ha. That's so rude. What's odd? My suitcase has been moved. It's subtle, but it's definitely been moved. You're sure? Yes, I'm positive. Someone's been in here. Whoever it was must have waited until I was out, then broke in. Huh. Was anything stolen? Yes. You contact the front desk? I hear Dunning has experience with this kind of thing. Not yet. 
I mean, I should, but... There will be so many questions, and I hate questions. Besides, no one ever, ever tries to catch a thief unless lots of money is stolen. So he didn't take your money? Oh, should I space? It's alright, Cabal. <laughs> it's no problem. That's right. So what did they take? I can't say. And I can't help. You would consider helping me? Depends on how co cooperative you are. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> I lost the small envelope. So what's the name of the gallery you know? Gallery May? Wait a second. How do you know about the place? A friend of mine works there. That's all. She's being uh, kind of defensive. So what was in the small envelope? A small letter? I can't tell you. I was sworn to secrecy, Mr. Hyde. You must believe me. I made a promise to the person who gave it to me. So someone gave you the envelope, right? Anything else you can tell me? Was there anything written on it? I can't say. Then I can't help. Good luck, lady. I'm out of here. I love it when Kyle does the little hand thing. He's like, I'm out of here. No helping from me. Why must you be such a crass and sensitive and sensitive lout? Fine, fine, I'll tell you. Just give me a moment. I'm impatient. Who gave it to you? It was Grace. You'll find her name written on the back of the envelope. Who's Grace? You want to tell me who Grace is? She's a friend. What kind of friend? She's a friend, Mr. Hyde. What, what about that is so difficult for you to comprehend? You may live your life all alone under a rock somewhere, but I... Oh, why am I talking to you about this? It's none of your business. None of my business? All right, lady. Whatever you say. All right, I'm off. I'll drop him if I find anything. Thank you. Helping me is more kindness than I expected. Don't get used to it. I ain't doing this for you. But then... I'm just curious about what got stolen. That's all. You don't say. Oh, but I do. Got a hunch about your mystery envelope and whatever's inside it. I think it's going to shine a light on some shadows I've been following around. Mr. Hyde, what on earth are you talking about? See ya. I, I can understand why she's questioning. She's just like, what the fuck, man? I, I feel like Kyle is nicer than he lets on. A little envelope. Something that would fit inside a little envelope. What would fit inside a little envelope? Why are you here? <laughs> Kyle is like that Drake meme? Um, what what is the Drake meme? Is it like the- from the music video where he's like, Oh, you mean with the hand thing? Like he's like turning the other way and his hand is like facing the opposite way of where he's turning. And he's like shaking his hand. A tiny rat? A tiny rat is inside the envelope. It's Grace's rat. I can see that. Yeah, his hand motion is totally like that. Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, nothing. Goodbye. Kevin leaves. I wonder if he was hoping to see Iris. Either way, he's up to something. Guess it's time to put the good doctor to the coals. Oh, so this chapter is is Kevin. Okay, I forgot that you interrogate Kevin. Also, like, isn't he, like, really fucking drunk? Imagine, like, being really drunk and all of a sudden a guy just comes up and asks you a bunch of questions about the wife that left you and, and shit. Doesn't appear to be anyone in. Where is he? Hmm. He could either be in the lobby or on the roof. Please, 
Please, I don't want to manually open every single door. This is why I'm playing a video game. Okay, there's no one up here. Where there you are. Okay, he's back in the lobby. You got a minute? Go away. What are you doing here? Go away. <laughs> I just I just want to be by myself. Smeagy was being a little baby earlier. Aw, your cats are just little babies. What was Smeagy doing? I got questions for you. Didn't you hear me? I'm not in any condition to speak right now. <laughs> Immediately ghost interrogation. I'm not in any condition to speak. I'm drunk and nauseous. Oh, he was kneading you and purring? Oh, it's so cute. I love when cats need things. I saw you hanging around room 216. Were you looking for Iris? It's none of your business who I, who I see. Easy, Doc. Were you looking for Iris? Heard you two toss the few back in the bar. And? And if I were? Is there a law against me drinking with Iris? You're right, that is really cute. What were you and Iris chatting about? You two been friends long? Why, why are you asking me these things? I don't... You have no right... It doesn't matter who my friends are, who I talk to. You don't have a right to hound me like this. I don't have to tell you anything. Don't be a mean drunk, Doc. Just talk to me. N enough Enough. I'm out of patience. I'm tired of your questions. Tired of you. Close your head. I got reasons for asking. I ain't asking these questions for my health, alright? Then why are you asking them? Why are you... I'm looking for someone. Looking? You? Ha! I don't... Don't believe it. That's right. There's a young girl staying here who's looking for her father. Are you talking about Melissa? How... How dare you? No. Different kid. So I need to ask you about Gallery May in Santa Monica. Seems the girl's father owns the joint. Really? You know the place, right? Gallery May? Yes. RF5 bosses are la laughably easy. Right? I remember when I was... Okay. So I remember there are some bosses in the previous Rune Factory games that I would have a lot of a lot of difficulty with, but the R RF bosses are like so much easier than that. I'm just waiting for the bosses to get hard. How? How? Well, my... my wife used to work there. Is your wife's name, uh... Grace? I remember my ass getting royally beaten in RF4 a few times? Yeah. Even in RF4 it was hard. I remember, um, RF3 had a lot of hard bosses too. I think it's because dodging is like... Just pretty meta in RF5. You can dodge at the right moment and then you just don't get hurt. We're done. We're done here. I'm going back to my room. Not yet, Doc. I got more questions. Mr. Hyde, what... What do you want? Yes, I... I know Gallery May. My wife used to work there before she... She... She used to work there. Iris is just... We just met. We had drinks. That's why my head... My head hurts. She mentioned the gallery. I was surprised. That's all. No mystery. No. There's no mystery here. I don't know the owner. Never met him. Playing straight with me? Yeah! Enough. Please, Mr. Hyde, please. My head hurts, and I'm tired, and I know nothing. Nothing, huh? You're hiding something. Spill it. How... How dare you? We're done done talking. My poems are mine. Got it? Mine. Not yours. Not yours. 
Not my business, huh? Look, you... You were kind to my daughter, and... I think you... Maybe you mean well, but that's enough. I have limits. I'm not going to unfold my life to a... A stranger. Alright, point made. Let's step back a second. You've both been around the block, right? Got a few scars to show for it. I got no interest in digging into your private life. But there's something you know. And that something's the key I need to find what I'm looking for. What you're looking for? What's that? It's got nothing to do with you. But you answer my questions, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Ooh? Let's talk about Iris. You just met, yeah. This is the first time you met her? That's right. I I never met her before tonight. But she she said she knew Grace and I got a hunch about Gallery May. You never worked there. You never worked there. So when did she start at the gallery? No, I I didn't, but she was... She was there seven years ago. Long time. Wife was working at the gallery when we... When we got married. And Melissa was born and she took a few years off. It was important. She thought spending time together was important. But she missed the gallery. She, she wanted to use her training. So, so when Melissa turned two, Grace found work in an art museum. And things were still all right between the two of you? Yes. They, they were. Who's Grace? Melissa's mother. My, my wife. Iris... Iris mentioned Gallery May in the bar. It surprised me. But then... Then... She told me she knew Grace. I didn't... I couldn't... I didn't know what to say. What else does she know? Does she know your wife left you? I... I don't know. Why didn't you ask her? Maybe she knows where your wife is now. No! I'm... I'm tired of talking to strangers about how my wife left me. I have some pride, some, but... Oh, who, who am I kidding? It's all my fault. She left because of me. I bet I know what went wrong between you and the wife. It was you, right, Doc? He looks so taken aback, even though just now he was talking about how it was his fault. Yes, it was. It was all my fault. Why'd she leave you? That, um... I... Yeah, that's a touchy topic, man. Don't go asking around why your wife... Why someone's wife left them. How is it your fault? What did you do? Well, uh... Er... He does not look like to be in a good state. You feeling low? My my head, it's going to explode. I bet. Wait, you're getting a headache from like right after drinking? Doesn't don't headaches like come when you're when the alcohol is leaving your body? Well, you better get to your room before you make Rosa's life a living hell. Can you make it? Cause I ain't carrying you. You're right. It's it's just like you said. I'm right? Hey, hold up. What is it? You're pathetic, you know that? I give you a load of crap about how you raise your kid, and you don't get mad? No woman likes a coward, pal. I bet that's why your wife left you high and dry. Kyle! <laughs> what are you saying? Oh yeah? Oh, oh yeah? I bet she'd been planning to dump you for a long time. You know, she left a message on the back of one of Melissa's puzzles, right? The one she gave her as a gift? She left a goodbye message on the back. She did... did what? You didn't know? Where's your head at, Doc? I never knew. 
That was the problem. I never knew anything. Ooh, you gonna spill your guts? You wanna hear my story, Mr. Hyde? I'll tell you. Everything. Tell you what, you wanna talk? I'll stand here till I get bored. Two years ago, I... I lost a patient in the operating room. I did what I could, but... The family, they sued me. Sued for malpractice and... They won, huh? Oh yes, they won. The court made me pay. It was so much money. And my insurance wouldn't... I didn't have it. I couldn't get that much. It was just so much. I was drowning. I didn't know what to do. Oh, poor guy. Grace, she kept working at the museum while I... While I waited. When they gave me the verdict, I... I asked for a divorce. It was my mistake. My... I... I didn't want Grace to pay for my mistake. But Grace refused. She... She said no. She told me no. This won't beat us, she said. I won't lose my... Family, she said. She's going to. She told me. Told me she would raise the money. And? She did. Yeah, she... I don't know where it came from, but she did it. How? She made me promise not to ask. She said it was a price we paid to stay together. Said we'd be together forever. She was wrong. Wrong. I loved her. From that day, I just... I just loved her so damn much. She was everything. But you know what? I didn't... I didn't trust her. How crazy is that? But, I mean, where did she get that money? It was a lot of money. And so I asked her and asked her and asked her. But she wouldn't tell me. So we fought. Oh, we just... We fought about everything. Everything. And one day she... She... She left you. Yes. I tried to find her. I've been everywhere and tried and... I don't know. I don't know. So why'd you come here? Matches. I found a matchbook from this hotel. It was in... in her purse. So I came here. I thought I could find a clue or a... you know, a clue. Same? <laughs> what are you saying same to? Also, hey, Jello! How's it going? Just one little clue. But I failed. I failed. I... I didn't find a damn thing. So you're right, Mr. Hyde. I don't know anything. I'm a loser. I'm pathetic. That's one word for it. I know. But I think you're going to pull out of this. You've got a chance. I... I do? Comes a day in every man's life when he realizes he's a fool. But you got someone who needs you, no matter what a lousy drunk you are. You know what I'm saying, Doc? Same? Are you, is that to, I'm pathetic and a loser? I was gonna say same as well. I... You can pull your ass out of the gutter for that person, right? Mr. Hyde. Melissa loves you more than anything. You're a family. Hell, you're the only family she's got left. Kyle is turning into Bugs Bunny? <laughs> wait, wait. Where is this coming from? I meant it wasn't, but still same? Wait, what isn't? So that's what happened to Melissa's mom, huh? Wonder how Grace scored all that cash. Probably illegal shit. The doc thing? Oh yeah, he says doc at the end. <laughs> Why'd she come to Hotel Dusk? And how are Iris and Grace connected? I think the Iris chapter is coming up next. Take a deep breath, Hyde. Get your ducks in a row here. It's quiz time! Went down to the Seven Stars Bar at 10 to meet up with Louie. While I was enjoying some good scotch, Summer barged in. I told him that Helen was Alan's mother, then split before he talked more. Oh, I love that gay little heart. After leaving the bar, I ran into... Rosa, right? No, Melissa. It was Melissa first. Pop quiz! Kahoot theme plays? Oh my god, I definitely like this music more than Kahoot. Kahoot, like, makes me think of college. That's right. Melissa was roaming the hallway outside the bar. 
She was looking for her old man, Kevin, and she didn't look happy. I told Melissa it was late and she should go back to her room. But something about how sad she looked stayed with me. After talking with Rosa, I decided to get the hotel Christmas tree out of the storage. Figured a tree with all the trimmings might pick the kids' spirits up. Would Kyle watch Frange? Oh no, he wouldn't. <laughs> the room where I found the tree was... Storage. That's right, I dug the tree out of a box in the storage room. Then I decorated it for Melissa. Hadn't done anything like that in years. Made me look like a sap, but it was a it actually wasn't a half bad time. He's too cool? Yeah, he's too cool for me. Melissa came to the storage room to see the Christmas tree. She looked pretty happy to celebrate Christmas, even if it was three days late. Kyle wouldn't like VTubers? Yeah, I feel like he wouldn't like VTubers. A couple of other people heard about the tree and came down to join us. First was Mila, and then... Louie! That's right. Who else would crash a party but Louie? Guy's got a nose for bright lights and dames. The lights of the tree pushed back to the shadows of the storage room for a bit. After Melissa fell asleep, Louie took her back to her room. Mila and I were left in the storage room, so I got out my notebook. So I got out my notebook. That's when I heard that Mila's father owned his own business. The name of it was... Gallery May. Kyle, what the fuck's a VTuber? Yeah, Cries and Cabal, you're thinking the same th thing. Kyle will be like, what the fuck is this shit? VTubing? What? That's right, Mila wrote the name down in my notebook. Mila's father owns an art gallery in Santa Monica. It's called Gallery May. Louis told me that the Iris and Kevin were drinking together. He said they were talking about Gallery May. That's when I decided to ask the two of them some questions. But when I went to 216 to see Iris, I learned something else. A mystery man broke into Iris's room and nicked something from her. Maybe it would awaken something in him? And what would that something be, Draken? I- what would awaken in him? What the fuck's a twitch? Like twitching? Like my eye? Like my eye twitches? If it wasn't Bradley, he wouldn't care. Yeah, he knows that Bradley and Mila are connected somehow because of the bracelet. So he he wouldn't really care about this gallery if it was didn't have some kind of connection to Bradley. A catboy tuber? Honestly, I, I would kind of want to see that. A lust for frogs? No, please, guys. Don't have lust for frogs. Please. I don't want to awaken that in you. Can we get some Catboy Kyle fan art? <laughs> Catboy Kyle! Catboy Kyle! The thief made off with a small envelope. That's right. Whoever it was took a small envelope. At least that's what Iris said. What was in the envelope? Just another question for the pile. Evening wasn't a total bust, though. Kevin tied one on and I waved the fumes away long enough to grill him. He told me Melissa's mom, Grace, worked at a place called Gallery May. Also told me about some malpractice suit he lost a few years back. But I need to know how Grace raised the money to pay the thing off. As I listened to Kevin spill his guts, an idea started to swirl in my brain. There's a connection here. Brad- And then he starts talking about Bradley. Bradley disappears with Osterzone's angel painting. Doc's missing wife works at an art gallery. Like my old man used to say, where there's stink, there's flies. You hear me coming, Bradley? <laughs> you hear me coming, Bradley? You hear me coming? <laughs> you hear me coming? Lucy actually writing letters to Priscilla if you go to her room early enough? What, really? She's writing letters to Priscilla? Honestly, I just want the two of them to get married. Like, they get married as breast best friends. Breast friends? <laughs> breast friends! I kind of miss uh, the mechanic where, like, people would get married if you didn't marry them by a certain time. Like, I guess the time limit would stress some people out. But, like, 
Maybe they can start getting married after you get married to your significant other. Yeah, I miss rival marriages. I miss seeing them have children, too. Like, it was really nice. They talk about it in their dialogue, but actually seeing her sit down and write was really surprising. Yeah, it's nice seeing them, like, do their own things in the world. It's really nice. Hotel Dust's got the key to this whole mess, and I'm going to find it tonight. In Tree of Tranquility, you have to get people's friendship levels up after you got married to make them marry others, I think? That could work. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember that too. It doesn't make any logical sense, but it's a good mechanic to, like, hold off marriages. Chapter 8! We're almost- there's like three chapters left, I believe. 11 to 12 a.m. Whew, it's getting late. 11 o'clock. Time to show Louie how a real man bowls. Oh yeah, it's the bowling mini game. Okay, we can do that next stream. But first, I got some real business to take care of. Someone took an envelope from Iris, and I want to know who and why. Okay, that's it for Hotel Dusk Night. I wonder, should we play Rune Factory or should we do something else? Maybe I could play like a day in Rune Factory. Well, let's see. Um, What was I going to look up? Oops, I'm trying to open up my browser. Rune Factory, good, nice. Thank you for the head pat! Why is the head pat not working again? One second. Does it have to like be refreshed every time I change the, I restart the stream? Okay, one second. I, I will redeem two head pads. You sent a hotel dust meme to me? Okay, I'll check it out later. Thank you for the double head pad! Okay, also, wellness pack, stretch. Drank water. Yeah, it's still active. I have the, the source open on... I have the source on every single scene, and it's always visible, so... Like, um, the cruise control source, because that's the, the source that monitors for the point redeems. I just have to, like, um, refresh the cache every time I, I start stream. Grandpappy! Here we go, Grandpappy! Okay, don't start the timer yet, though, because I need to pee again. Because before a stream, I drank some coffee, and now I'm, I was drinking a Truly, so... I have pee. One sec, let me get the grandpappy stuff on. Wow, 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 oh! Grandpappy time! A time for piss. Yes, it's time for the second piss of stream. Okay, first let me let me save this. Save state. I know I already saved it in the game, but let me actually save it again. And then close. And then I will be right back. Can't talk now. Taking a piss. <laughs> okay, BRB.
Okay, I back. I didn't fall in. I'm just, uh, let's see. Let's get the capture card set up. Let's see. So we can get Rune Factory 5 started. Oh, one second. Let me actually do this in studio mode just so I don't fuck anything else. Uh, fuck anything up. Next time the toilet will win. Are you rooting for me to die? In the toilet? That's a, that's a bit yikes for a boyfriend. I don't know if I can trust you anymore. Okay. You got it here. Thank you, Cabal! Okay. I was actually already playing Rune Factory. <laughs> Let's see, full screen projector. Let's get on the screen here. Thank you for the head pad! Did the head, did the head pad actually show up? I, did, I wasn't paying attention. I washed my blanket so it's all good smelling? Hell yeah. My, my, um, towel got washed recently too. Let's see, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I told y'all in the Discord, I'm wearing squeaky boots. Here it is. They squeak whenever you walk around, and so whenever I'm I'm doing like a cutscene, it uh she whenever my character walks over, it squeaks. And it's it's so funny. Okay. Okay, let me change the the category and the title. All right. Let's see. So I've been just doing stuff. Uh, what romance quest? I'm doing Reinhard's romance quest. He asked me to select a perfect vegetable for him, and I selected a cucumber. And he was trying to make stuff for. Um, he was trying to make stuff for. Beatrice? Squeak, squeak, squeak! Yeah. I put on these shoes because I got it from a dungeon, but I didn't realize that it would squeak like this, even though in the, in the, the description it says that. Not gonna lie, homosexuality is, homosexuality is kind of fruity. I know, right? But yeah, I made good progress since the last time we played. Um, last time I was like a few days in, now I'm like on spring 18. Just like two thirds of the way through the month. Must be a whole ass orchard. <laughs> yeah. Because we're so gay, we're an orchard of gay. What are you doing, that cucumber? I know, right? They're describing like the cucumber, and I was like, oh no, I can't stop myself from having dirty thoughts. Don't worry, he just made it into like a pickled cucumber dish for Beatrice or something. But yeah, for, uh, he's he's looking for someone no who knows how to make like good pickled dishes. But I don't know what I gotta do next. I guess I just gotta wait until the next day. Also, oh wait, Priscilla wants cold medicine now. Like what the fuck? Why do all these people want cold medicine? I forgot what I was doing. I think I beat a boss yesterday, so I'm just waiting for the next story thing to come up. Like, uh. Yeah, main story. Who won? Our competition ended in a draw. Scarlet has recognized me as a fellow ranger and a rival. Because we have, like, most of the bachelors and bachelorettes in the town now. We're just missing Lidmilla and Lucas. I've done that romance quest and I never saw the finished dish. So, you're a drug dealer? Yeah, I keep giving people cold medicine. They're just, they're just getting high off it. Also, hey, Nebble! Welcome, welcome! We're gonna sit right here if that's okay? Yeah, that's no problem at all. Feel free to sit your butts down in this stream. Have a nice comfy time. We're just playing some Rune Factory and we're chilling. We, we were playing Hotel Desk, but we're taking a little break. Also, look, Murakumo Kumo is so tall, he just goes off the screen there. But yeah, let me give you a little shout out. Why are you streaming? 
You're playing Jump King. Oh god, I hear that that, so that game is hard. <laughs> Hello! Hello, Connie! How's it going? Thank you for the follow! How's stream? It's been pretty chill so far. I'm just chilling, uh, drinking a little Trulies, relaxing on a good Wednesday night. Lean is canon Rune Factory. Yeah, people just want me to give them cold medicine. The game is hell and I was a potato too? A potato? Wait, what does that mean? But yeah, so I have quests going on. I have to ship a lo level 5 or higher vegetable. I have to till a corn using a hoe. I have sword and shield flowers planted. I need to upgrade my weapon. I need to get silver. Oh yeah, I was doing a wanted monster mission. A literal potato? You were a potato in the game? How does that happen? What flavor truly? It's the margarita flavor. Strawberry hibiscus margarita. I was thinking during the daily piss. Maybe the move from 540 to 720 after OBS transfer is a potential cause of the occasional fame, frame drops? Maybe. Maybe I should turn down my, um, my resolution or my bitrate. But, I mean, like, the frames used to, tr like, I already had internet issues before, but I could try to turn down my bitrate. Because they're sick? Well, they don't seem sick and they don't even say anything when I give them the cold medicine. I'll send a screenshot on you on your Discord? Sure, I am very I am very intrigued. Yeah, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of animals. I have two willies, a caca cockatoo, I don't know what the fuck the chickens are called, and a buffamoo. But yeah. Uh let's try to find the monster then. Um Send it in the memes chat. Thank you, Nebble. Wait, maybe I should check that now. Oh yeah, make Nebble for Ubu res wrestling. Make him a wrestler. Oh my fucking god, Nebble! Potato! Is that a Snapchat filter? Oh my fucking god, I'm crying on the inside. This is so cursed. I like that the monsters all have alternative names, and there's just one called Duck. Wait, which one? Oh no. <laughs> Can I put a little sweat reaction? It's a snapshot filter. Oh, okay. Yeah, your connection was a butt. Yeah, we had some technical slash Wi-Fi is issues earlier too. Wi-Fi can be really shit sometimes. It's a literal duck. In this game? Okay, so we have to go to Forest Woodlands in the Northwest region and we're gonna find a big muck. I think we should be strong enough to beat it, hopefully. In this very game. Wait, Martin, come back! I wanna see your pecs. Nice days like this make it hard to stay cooped up in the smithy. Tomorrow's the flower festival. Oh yeah, tomorrow's the flower festival. It's like one of the romance festivals. I think I've already talked to everyone in the town today. Skill up! I'm on cable, but started dropping frames a lot. Even on Ethernet connection? That's awful. Kiss Martin? Oh yeah, I I posted a screenshot of I of one of Martin's relationship events. He's just like grinning at his sword and he named it Tittles. He named his sword Tittles. I'm like Martin. You're a dork. I hope you're able to figure out what was happening there, Neville. Internet issues issues are always a pain. You got tits on the mine? Nah, he just has swords on the mind. Wow! Oh, I got a turnip seed. Nice. Wow! 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 Oh. God, I one-shot them. I can't even farm anything from them. Oh, I'm too far.
You know who else has tits on the mine? You. Y'all have tits on the mine. Oh yeah, I found a double sword and now it's just my main weapon. Because I really like, uh... Ah! Stop running away from me! I know it's easier if I lock onto them, but it's just the pain. It's an extra button to press. 10 minute timer has ended. Thank you, Cabal. All right, Grandpappy's going bye-bye. Thank you for... That was a, a fart fell well. Fair, farewell. Farewell fart. Thank you, my children. Wait, now where the fuck is this muck? Gunpowder, nice. We got some shrooms. Okay, I'm trying to figure out uh where the muck is. Cause we're looking for a big slime thing. That has a red aura around it. Killing my own- What? Oh, that's it! Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay, it's not weak to light or anything. I'm just trying to stun it. <laughs> you are no match against me! Okay, I think I can capture it now. For the wellness pack, but one second. You fucking woolly, you trying to hurt me? Die. I love how you can just hear the squeaking. I know, right? The squeaking is just so loud. All right, sit up straight, stretch. <sighs> Sip water. Okay. Thank you for the well in this pack. I hear I'm just squeaking so much. This is not normal, by the way, guys. It's not normal to squeak like this. <laughs> you need a woolly with an intimidating aura. I remember when I first put on these shoes, I was like, is the squeaking normal? Or, or is the squeaking like normal for any shoe that I'm wearing? And it's like, no. It dies in two hits. Yeah, because I'm kind of over leveled for this area. Yeah. What the fuck? Did I get poisoned? That was, that's my first time fainting. I think I got poisoned or something. Whoops. Finally awake, are we? Honestly now, you may be young, but you're not invincible, so you shouldn't behave so recklessly. Whenever your HP hits zero, blah blah blah. Okay, someone has to bring me here? Who the fuck brought me here? Oh, is this time free? I hear you loud and clear. Not that I'm completely opposed to the idea. It would give me more opportunities to experiment on you after all. Uh, I just felt a shiver run down my spine. 
It casts fate on me? That's a thing? Blah, blah. I already know all of this. She's basically telling me how to keep my myself healthy and not get fatigued. It's a one-hit kill spell? How the fuck do they know that? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Oh, one more thing. You'll naturally recover RP by standing still. Oh, okay. That's why I keep recovering RP. Okay, well, at least I didn't have to pay this time. Flower festivals tomorrow, so set aside a little time to have fun. Okay, time to report my wanton monster capture. I was out of RP, I think. Because I kept, I kept using my weapon and it just kept... I felt my controller just uh, vibrating. I think I just wasn't paying attention. So let me put away my sword so I don't accidentally uh, die again. Yeah, I think that's what happened. <laughs> I sometimes lose track of uh, where my RP is. I just got a message from HQ saying that you rounded, rounded up a wanted monster. You made friends with them instead? Well, I'll be a dragon zon. Good job. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that picture. There's a version of those franges that absolutely knows faint. Really? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. For the future. I got a new crest! Alright, I got a hint crest. Let's ask the townsfolks if they have any information about wanted monsters. Keep up the good work, ranger. Okay, okay. I got cooking bread. Let's see what we learn. Oh, I need more cooking experience. Whoop! Well, let's make some onigiri. Actually, I don't have any rice. Because Scarlet likes Japanese dishes, so I can make onigiri for her. Let's see. Any other wanton monsters? Oh, you guys want to kill a little squirrel? We're not going to actually kill them, but... Oh, it's in the Kel Volcanic region. Oh, it's going to be super fucking strong then. Where is this? Kel Volcanic region. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I'll go after this. Now back to work, Ranger. Okay, Livia. Thank you. Let's equip that crest. The power of the crest lets you bring townspeople along on your adventures, even if you're not on friendly terms. Oh yeah, I forgot that you could bring townspeople on adventures with you, and that really helps. I like free baths, so I'll keep this on. Well, anyway, let's look- let's try to make some food so I can level up my cooking- cooking level. Let's make needlefish sashimi. Success! Did that- did my cooking level up? No! I don't have very much RP, so I could die by- cooking sashimi. Most definitely. Okay, I can make one more. No! Oh god. Uh... Well, let's try doing this. Basically, my daily routine in Rune Factory 5 is just do whatever I feel like doing at that moment. I sometimes plan things out. Sometimes. Like saying, like, oh, I want to beat this dungeon today or something, or, or something. Alright, put this in here. Oh, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, I can't put it in here. Alright, let's do that, and then... 
What do I want? Oh yeah, I wanted to make crystals from here. I wanted to trade in crystals tomorrow. I already have a crystal here. I have two, actually. I forget what I could use Gaia crystals for. Mm, oh, here's my fridge. Oh, I forgot to put this in. Trade crystals? Yeah, too bad the crystal shop isn't open today. Uh, isn't open anymore today, so I'll have to wait until tomorrow. Also, you guys wondering why I have all these turnip seeds? Well, because Reinhard likes turnip seeds for some reason. He also likes failed dishes and gro gross food. I have no idea why he likes that. I guess maybe he just appreciates that I tried. Restarted me inner. Let's see if things get better. I hope things get better. God, I have so many crystals. Let's plant this turnip. One single turnip. You figure out why in his romance event? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to finding out more about him. My, Reinhard might be a dummy, dummy. Oh, he is most certainly a dummy. But he's my dummy. Maybe. He's also Beatrice's dummy. Well, probably not just plot reasons, but you probably learn out learn about his personality. Is everything all right? I think I've already talked to everyone. Well, hello, Scarlet. Too, staying up too late isn't healthy for you. I recommend going to sleep early whenever you can. I know it's exciting that we have the flower festival tomorrow, but don't go overboard celebrating it. She's very serious. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, they're going to have dinner? Hi, long day, huh? Take things slow and get some rest, okay? I'm sure looking forward to tomorrow's flower festival. I hope you get to see lots of your favorite flowers, Doodle. Good thing I have a bunch of toy herb flowers that I can give to people. Reinhard only... He's only one step below Murakumo on the himbo scale. <laughs> They're both himbos and I love it. Heinz, come here! Evening! Time to fritter the night away by doing my favorite thing. Nothing! The flower festival is tomorrow, which means it's almost time to stop and smell the roses. Well, too bad I can't buy- I can't grow roses right now, bitch. I think it's probably time you went home. Don't want to work too hard. Hey, you do you. I don't care. Welcome! We have the flower festival tomorrow. Sounds like a good enough reason to take the day off. <laughs> that sounds like me. I want to take the day off. For whatever reason possible. Tuta! Tuta! Thank you for the follow, Honkus! Maybe I should just go to bed. My RP is super fucking low. Heinz, would you like some tinned beans? I have no idea. What is that joke? I want some tinned beans. I have to constantly organize my backpack, otherwise, I get uncomfortable. All right, let's start a new day. What is that joke? <laughs> Me when I don't get a joke. What is the joke? What is that joke? Wow, 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 wow. Heinz is a brand of canned beans in Britain. Oh yeah, no wonder I didn't get the joke. That's my favorite way of telling someone you didn't get their joke now. What- what is that joke? <laughs> what is it? Please wake up, Doodle. Oh, what happened? 
that's why is that so funny to me? What happened? That joke is a porcupine? Porcupine? It's a kind can of brand of canned beans here in America? I thought it was a brand of tomato. Why was I gonna say tomato sauce? Of ketchup. It's a brand of ketchup. Porcupine? This is serious. What is? He's here. Who? Who's here? Oh, I don't have time for this. Just come with me. Who's here? I think I might have seen a picture of this guy. Oh, wait a minute. Scarlet! Is that a horse? No, it's a fucking cow doodle. <laughs> me during game night. Tomato sauce, tomato chunks, ketchup, etc. Oh, okay. Pardon the intrusion. That guy! Here's some plot, guys, that you probably won't get. Gideon! Just, just zooms in on his face. There's no need for such formality. Relax. That's all. Yes. The horse of Zelda Ocarina, yeah. Is that a horse? Scarlet's in game model is kind of cuter than her portrait. I like her portrait too. Can't believe Scarlet is this nervous. Who is this guy? Doodle, is that how you plan to address the warden? Oops, did I just say that out loud? And did she say warden? I don't believe we've met before. I'm Gideon, warden of C. Huh? You are? He's a top brass. What is that walking animation? Doodle. Yes, your reputation precedes you. I heard that you caught the rune poacher. I'm grateful for your efforts on our behalf. And for yours as well, Major Scarlet. Why is he cute? Game Room Factory 5? Oh, don't worry. I already changed it. It's just there's a bug in mobile where if you don't close the stream and re-enter it, but even if a, the title and game are updated, it doesn't get updated for, for you. I trust we can continue to call upon you in our pursuit of justice. Yes. Yes, sir! I'll take Oswald with me to headquarters. I'm my leave. Give my regards to the field, yes. Captain. Captain. Sir? Also, I don't think that's the... That's the right... Um, what is it? The right command? I think it's like set game or something. Phew, I was sweating bullets. He has such a commanding presence. Yes. That is quite the understatement. During the chaotic decades that followed the collapse of the sex empire, one man brought justice to the land. His vision unified countless neighbor neighborhood watches and town guards into a single organization, Seed. Is this like lore from the previous games? Piss game, piss game, the sex empire. Warden Gideon is law and order personified. Wow, I'm surprised a man with so much influence would take the time to visit Rigbarth himself. I must confess that I was not expecting him to come in person. The sex empire. That just shows we're dealing with something big. Captain. captain Livia, where have you been? The warden already left. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah, set game. Sakusu ni narunda! Yamete yo! Yeah, forgive me. I don't do well with that man. Piss counter? <gasps> See, look, I was squeaking! I squeaked! Don't do well? How can a field captain of all people be so. We stopped the poacher without incident, did we? Let me off the hook this time. I think we'd do well to follow Warden Gideon's example. He traveled all the way to our backwater town just for the sake of this mission. Fart counter? <laughs> Let's agree to disagree. Our work is done, and peace will certainly return to our quiet little town. Huh, I wonder. It's almost like there's a whole bunch of story left for me to do. 254 droplets of piss, and I will piss them out. So why should I bend over backwards to emulate a straight-laced workaholic? Life is too short. I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> uh. 
Olivia! Good morning, today is a nice day. Today's the flower festival, so focus on having a good time. Got that? Yep, we'll do. Work hard, stay on guard. Work hard, stay on guard. Good morning, today's a fine day to be out on patrol, don't you agree? Since today's the flower festival, I suppose we can allow ourselves to take things a bit easy, but only a bit. You're a work workaholic, Scarlet. I don't want to be like you. Imagine how stiff her shoulders are. Look at that little rune! Look at his smiling face. I love that they put the runes like that in this game. I love workaholic characters. They make me go hee 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 hoo. That is me. Are you a workaholic, Koro? That's not healthy. The rune spirits are friend shaped. They really are. I love the little rune spirits. Remember in Rune Factory um, Frontier, where you could actually just, where you could like soft lock your game. Not soft lock your game, but basically make it like really hard to grow good crops because all the runes fucking disappeared and there was no way to get them back. Yeah, you could just kill all the runes and be fucked. You'd be so fucked over. There's no way to come back from it. I think this was before you could, like, download patches for games, so they couldn't fix that bug. I exaggerate when I say that. Honestly, I tend to be on the frontier, though, perhaps. Please take it easy, Koro. I don't want you to overwork yourself. Please. We don't want the little scrunkly to collapse from overwork. Happily works on things for 36 hours. Koro's friends. Koro, please, we miss you. Yeah. I hope it comes out okay. You always escape before you collapse, but that that's not still not a good place to be either. You shouldn't be like collapsing or near collapsing. It's watering time. It's watering time. I really want to upgrade my watering part bu pot, but I don't have the recipe. Doodle successfully watered the plants thanks to the 254 droplets of piss. Mm, yes, I watered it with my piss. It's totally healthy for the plants that way. Oh, you had to work with Dick Diz with their workaholism? I am a... Uh, not really a workaholic. I, I guess I can like sit down and work on something really hard if I'm in that mindset, but I'm more of a procrastinator. Yes. All right. I just procrastinate and feel bad about myself. Do I brush all of them? I think I brushed all of them. Ah. I, I hate how they move around so much. I always forget which one I uh, brush. Thank you for the follow. Who was that? Neferi. Thank you for the follow. Wait, now let me pick up their little bits of wool. Raising monsters to do your slave work, my favorite. Thank you for the head pat. 
Oh yeah, I forgot that you can make your mon monsters water your fields. How do you tell them to do that? Let me see, what, what's my friendship like with my, uh... You just- what? You realize something? Go there there like your MC on the doodaloo. There there. The monsters. Okay. Fluffy's almost there. They're almost to level 3 friendship. Full Nyabba stream? Oh, that can be- that can be the next stream. We'll play Yume Tuki for next stream. Yeah. Oh, it's fine, Koro. I'm not, like, set in stone about it. My idea was that you would redeem full Nyabbit stream, and then I would do the next stream as a full Nyabbit stream. I can do the next stream! Thank you for the redeem! Let me- let me put that on my- where the fuck is my phone? Let me put that on my calendar. <laughs> Thank you! I'm looking forward to doing the, the first full Nyabbit stream. It's been a year in the making, but we finally got it. And now my mom will tell me goodnight and she'll be like, what are you doing? Why are you saying that? <laughs> Do whenever you want. Okay, maybe it can be next stream or maybe it can be um, Saturday when we play Kirby. Because Kirby's nice and cute. I will do it. I have a shit ton of stuff. Holy shit. Oh, I gotta plant more grass. I don't really want to plant more grass, though. This is a level 3 and a level 2 grass. Or fodder. I already have too much fodder. Kirby Nyabbit. Hi! Nyabbit. Yeah, let me put fodder in there. Is there anyone in the game that likes fodder? I'll give it to them. Wow, 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 wow. Wait, oh wait. Let me see, what do I... Let me check what the Gaia crystals do. So I need three of them. Uh, boost soil's health and damage resistance. Oh, that would be good. Boost crops growth speed. I want the terra crystal, because here, the terra crystal makes more space available for planting crops, and I want to have more space. I wonder if it pulls the, the crystal inventory from your storage, too. I am curious. But I cannot trade in anything because it's a festival day and all the shops are closed. Let me just let me sell these flatter seeds. Huh. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Whoa, all this stuff makes for four, almost 5,000 gold. We're gonna get rich. Okay, let's put this in storage. Okay. Festival starts at eleven, I believe. Let's go down and see who's there. Scarlet? Or Simone? Sorry, why did I say Scarlet? The weather today is nice! Let's look at lots of flowers today. 
What lovely weather we have today. I wonder if everyone else in town is also enjoying it. Town is always so full of life during these festivals. I shall never tire of seeing everyone's smiling faces. Okay, you already said that. I love seeing everybody so excited for the flower festival. Today's the flower festival. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Yes. I'm enjoying it very much. Flower festival has arrived. What pranks will the sylphs play on us today? <laughs> oh. You're so cynical. Okay, I'm gonna try and cook something just to kill some time and also raise my cooking level. Wait, is there uh, an event on the- Oh, there's an event! Wait, let's see uh, Reinhardt's event. Fuck. Too lazy to walk there, so just gonna warp there. Reinhardt, yes. I must see you. You hear that squeak? <laughs> it always gets me. What is this? Pickled cucumber for Beatrice, like we talked about before. It's just one, which is hardly an extravagant meal, but you're still more than welcome to have it. My, thank you. I shall deliver it to Lady Beatrice myself. Squeak! 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 Oh, and if you want, you should split it with her. That way you'll know what it's supposed to taste like, and then you can make it for yourself next time. Hmm. Indeed. One can only hope. What is that all about? Do you not eat, Reinhard? Does he not- Wait, does Reinhard not have a sense of taste? Is that why he can eat disgusting food? More main characters need permanent, permanently squeaky shoes? Yeah, the thing is, it's not permanent. I can take off the shoes whenever I want and make them make less squeak. But it's the only shoes I have. And it it's defense plus five. I mean, it's something, but... Hello, what great weather. I hope it stays that way. La la la. Hmm, no, that won't work. Tra la 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 li. Fa la 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 li. Yes, that sounds much better. Ah, yes, that was beautiful. It's time to enjoy the heck out of the flower festival. Permanent as long as you have the shoes on as opposed to super temporary, like an effect that leaves based on time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get you. Okay, after the festival, I'm probably gonna end stream, though. I'm getting kind of tired. Let's cook something. Oh yeah, I can make pickled turnip. Thank goodness my cooking skill leveled up. Here, let me eat the bread now. Char sashimi! Why do I keep learning sashimi? I want to learn how to make... something else. Like a sandwich. Do I need a specific thing for to make sandwiches? Can't you just make sandwiches with your hands? Mm 
Wow, wow, wow. Today's the flower festival. Have you come across any strange plants yet? No. You have a good having a good time celebrating the flower festival? So I did have many opportunities to celebrate the flower festival during my childhood. I intend to enjoy myself today. Aw. Not 100% sure on this, but it seemed like I couldn't learn recipes if I didn't have the kitchen peas for it. Oh. Yeah, maybe I have to get all the kitchen pieces for it. That sucks. Doodle cracking the code for sandwich. Bre bread, bread, cheese, meat, tomato. Damn it! <laughs> You can only slice food. You don't know how to combine it. <laughs> Today's the flower festival. I wonder if there's any knowledge relating to growing flowers that I could apply to my work. Dude, you're a workaholic. <laughs> Wait, what? What do I do during this festival? Am I missing something? Don't I just give them flowers? They're all leaving. Oh. It doesn't say like a meeting time or anything, so I guess I just need to give them flowers. Hey, Cherry. I know today's just the flower festival, but keep an eye out for anything that seems off anyway. Okay, time to give flowers to all of them. Not Priscilla though. I'm not really a huge Priscilla fan. Uh, let's let's go to the let's go to the guys guys. Yeah, they're all handsome. Yeah. 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 I see you're full of energy. You aren't up to any this anything with this, are you? He like he likes breads so that he can eat easily eat with a single hand. Okay. I gotta get a, a an oven so I can make toast. Beatrice! So do you not do anything during the flower festival? What? Okay. I'll, I'll hammer some... rock and then I will end stream. I'm gonna clean up my field. I want to know how to make orange juice. Yes. Nice. All right. yes. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh, that was so close. I almost got rid of my fodder there. Festival days are so nice. So nice and peppy. There's confetti coming from a mysterious place down on, down below. You know what I like about Rune Factory? There's always a shit ton of busy work for you to do. I could literally just spend all day just like chopping things because every hour things get spawned. I could do nothing in terms of interacting with people or progressing the story. I could just chop wood and just hammer rocks. Nice. 
I'll, I'll ship some sashimi. Oh wait, Scarlet would like sashimi. Yeah, I should give some to her. Okay. That is it for stream for today. I am all tuckered out. I'm very tired. Let me put on some background music while we try to find someone to raid. Thank you guys for coming to stream. I always appreciate being able to talk to you guys during stream and just hang out and goof around. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. And I will see you guys on Friday for some Yume Tuki. Yume Tuki Tsuki. Let's see. Who is streaming? I think I saw Picky streaming. Is Picky streaming? Yeah, Picky is streaming the same game that she was streaming last time. Moon. I'm down for some Picky vibes. Let me raid her. I feel like I raid like the same people all the time, but you know, these are just the people that I want to spend time at their streams. Uh, after I'm like tuckered out from my own stream. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to stream. I'll see you guys on Friday. And let's see, as usual, if you have my emotes, feel free to use this raid message. If you don't, feel free to use, the, use this one. Yeah, I don't owe anyone. I can raid who I want. And we're gonna raid Picky for some chill moon times. A nice SNES classic. I think it's SNES. But it, it was ported to the, to Steam, to PC. But yeah, I'll see you guys. I hope you guys couldn't see me wave, but I was waving to you. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.